Now for the really good news. After a lot of hard bargaining, it looks like I've managed to land the Ocean Liner contract for one of the biggest liners around. The Duchess. Hey folks, Cinder here with the long-awaited profile video on the Ocean Liners. In case you're wondering, yes, I am putting all three of them into a single video, as this was the general consensus when I asked everyone in a poll on my community tab. Plus it just saves me time from making a bunch of tiny videos. Anyways, if you enjoy my content and want to see more like it, then be sure to like, subscribe, and ring Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So this video is going to cover the most prominent liners in the show, the Duchess, the Princess Alice, and the SS Vienna. We'll start off with the Duchess. According to Captain Star, the Duchess is one of the biggest ocean liners around. She appears in a single episode, specifically the show's pilot episode, Sunshine. In this episode, the Starfleet are given the chance to dock her and win the ocean liner contract. However, this is sabotaged when Zoran causes their new recruit, Sunshine, to ram into the Duchess, leaving the Z-Stacks to intervene and help the Stars, thus foiling their attempts at winning the contract. Of course, the Zeds get found out and Sunshine is officially welcomed into the Starfleet. There's not much to the Duchess here, as she is treated as more of a plot device or even a catalyst for the story. It could be theorised that she is a bit arrogant since she decided to show up early. This is supposedly supported by the original draft for the episode, but I wasn't able to find any further info about it, so who knows. Next up is the Princess Alice. Alice is the only liner to play a role in more than one episode. Her first role takes place in the episode Regatta, in which she is the hostess for the parade and party. She ends up being so impressed by everyone's performance and appearance that she awards them all with a prize, although we don't know what these prizes were. Her other role takes place in High Winds. Her rudder gets damaged at sea due to the approaching windstorm, which is actually the mayday that Hercules answers in the beginning of the episode. The stars attempt to dock her, but the fierce winds conspire against them. Luckily, Zebedee comes to the rescue just in time to prevent Tencent and Sunshine from being crushed. There is a liner in Dry Dock that bears a resemblance to Alice in the episode High Tide, but it's not confirmed if this is her or not. And finally, the SS Vienna. Aside from making a cameo in the background of Sunshine, where she is being docked by the Zed Stacks, Vienna's only notable role and appearance in the show takes place in the final episode, Big Freeze. In this episode, she requests for an ocean tug, i.e. Hercules, to tow her in as far as the bay, since it was impossible to dock right in port due to the harbour being frozen over. Tencent and Sunshine scramble to find a light source to help guide her in. They eventually find one in the form of an emergency light barge. Vienna arrives and subsequently loads and unloads cargo. Afterwards, she sails off singing a beautiful song to conclude the final episode of the show with both fleets watching. As you might expect, the ocean liners take inspiration from real life vessels, much like how the Starfleet and Zed Stacks are based on the San Francisco and Moran fleets respectively. The Duchess is believed to be based on the RMS Queen Mary the SS Imperator, or the RMS Majestic. After Tug's production ended, her model was purchased by Britt Allcroft and was used as a background prop in Season 3 of Thomas and Friends moving forwards. The Princess Alice bears a resemblance to the RMS Empress of Britain as well as its sister, the RMS Empress of Ireland. Her announcer during the regatta was voiced by, who else? Mike O'Malley. Seriously, like half of the show is this guy just talking to himself. Alice's model was later repainted and used for SS Vienna, who is believed to be based on early 20th century liners, such as the RMS Maritania, and none other than the Titanic. 
This model was also carried over into Thomas and Friends, originally appearing as Vienna, but was later repainted into the SS Rockstar. Alice's singing voice was provided by Sue Glover, who delivered a beautiful performance and the most fitting end that the show deserved. I would have to say that Vienna is my favourite of the three liners, mostly due to the ending of Big Freeze, but I also like that her paintwork is different to the other liners that appear in the show. I don't know, I guess it makes her stand out to me more. I wasn't originally going to give the Linus Thomas counterparts, but then a good friend of mine pointed out that they are basically treated as celebrities. And then my friend mentioned that they are basically the Tug's equivalent to the famous engines in Thomas and the Railway series, like City of Truro, Green Arrow, Flying Scotsman, etc. The only one who I felt I could give an exact counterpart to was the Duchess, because there's a character in the Railway series called the Duchess of Hamilton. But even then, that is only because of the similar names. Of course, many other famous engines have appeared in the show, and I'm sure you will all have your own ideas and opinions on who would make for suitable counterparts. You guys have actually been really insightful when providing your thoughts on counterparts, and I've come up with some really good ones, so thank you, and please let me know who you think the best counterparts for these liners would be. Well, that does it for another episode on Tug's Profiles. Assuming I get this video out on time, this will probably be the last video of the year. I will be posting an update on what's to come in early 2023, shortly after the new year. Thank you all so much for an incredible year. My channel has really gotten its best traction in the past few weeks, and it's all thanks to you guys. Whatever you're doing over the holidays, I hope you all enjoy yourselves. Now until next time, I've been Sinners and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!